Compared to 2020, hiring has resumed at greater volumes for mature tech companies, often because they have received new funding, refined their business models, or launched new products. Overall, competition is fierce for qualified candidates in virtually all areas of technology. Startups in areas such as insurance, logistic, education, and financial technology continue to benefit from the ongoing pandemic as consumer spending has shifted online. However, IT services companies remain negatively impacted by the pandemic. Their non-tech clients are still proceeding with cautions and reluctant to invest new services. Many candidates now seek a hybrid work or fully remote work arrangement. Companies that can offer these will have an added advantage as they try to attract the best talent. The fintech space will continue evolving in 2022. Already, we're seeing foreign companies acquire small local banks to enter and launch digital products in the Indonesian market. Specifically, wealth tech and cryptocurrency startups are expected to secure more funding. Meanwhile, the health tech space is poised for a second wave of growth. We can expect to see traditional healthcare businesses launching digital products in order to compete against newer startups. Product managers are in short supply, as well as candidates working with data, particularly data engineers. We also expect to see a stronger demand for cybersecurity specialists across all levels. Good software engineers remain difficult to find due to local talent shortage. Many startups are considering offshoring their development teams to address this issue. Firstly, flexible or hybrid work arrangements are now at essentials if you want to attract and retain good tech candidates in 2022. Next, move without delay and expedite the interview process where possible. High caliber candidates can drop out of unnecessarily long interview processes. So deliver your offer without delay to secure your top candidates. Lastly, startups can sweeten their offers with long-term incentives such as employee stock ownership plans. We recommend including these for candidates at all levels. As recruitment volumes return to pre-pandemic levels, tech candidates could expect for pay increments of 25 to 30 percent when moving between companies. Sign-on bonuses will also become more common. These bonuses will be used to compensate candidates who forgo invested equity when moving between companies.